End of battle confirmed. Noah's reverting back to her usual form. We'll leave the rest to you, Chloe. Bring Noah back. Hi. Why? How did I lose? Arithmetic space is my territory. You've always done things for the sake of others. But never for yourself. You prioritized others. Worried for them. And were there for them in happy and sad times. An Ark who's lived like that couldn't possibly hurt me. Uh, mm. Love is unconditional and doesn't ask for anything in return. But caring for the now has left you in solitude. You're too kind, Noah. You're the one who should be allowed to live more freely. No. The moment I ask for something in return, I'll lose sight of love. I'll lose my humanity. You're an idiot. Humans aren't as perfect as you think they are. It's okay to ask for something in return. You can be selfish, you can be self-indulgent, and love isn't something you can only give to others. Love is something you can long for, too. Uh, uh... That's what I was taught. People are weak. It's okay to cry or lose heart. They fight, they hurt each other, and treasure each other. That's how they grow strong. That's what I was taught. That's how Coco made me human. If you're human, you don't need to think of me or the city's people. What do you want to do? Do you want to be scattered here? Floating alone in arithmetic space forever? I... I want... I want to sing for everyone. I want them to listen to my songs. But if I exist... That terrifying meteora will... It doesn't matter. How many times do I need to say it? You may think you're all alone, but don't forget, there are people who want to be there for you too. Alba gives us the best support, and Yamato cares for us as comrades. You have me, too. You're not alone. We'll find a solution if we put our heads together. You're so optimistic. That's the same impression I had of Coco, too. It's very human. Right? Yeah, it is. Come on. Let's go home. Give me your hand, Noah. <laughs> it's the first time I've touched you. That's true. Are you crying? I'm not crying. You idiot. It's the second time. Oh, hi, Anima. <laughs> wants to sing with you with me it must have enjoyed singing with you last time uh, uh -huh. do you want to sing with me <coughs> okay I'll harmonize with you so don't go off key <laughs> What? You smiled, Chloe. Uh, <laughs> you finally smiled. I'm finally able to put a smile on your face. Anyone would smile if they're happy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Chloe, I see you finally made up with Noah. Mm. I'm going to salvage your consciousness first, Chloe. Okay? Okay. Okay. I got it. I'm going back to the lab first. Let's continue our talk over there. Sure. We'll do that as many times as you want. Oh? <laughs> I think Anima wants to sing with you, too. Oh, no. You better get ready over there. If I ever feel like it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Are you okay, Chloe? Do you know who I am? No, and I don't want to. You're Yamato. Oh, shit. My loud colleague. Thank the gods. You're your usual self. Welcome back, Chloe. Your vitals aren't stable yet. Rest until you don't experience any time lag. Why is she spin needle to the table? <laughs> okay. I'll leave the detailed operations on Noah to you. Alright. 
You've done your part. So I'll do my best for the rest. Your efforts have saved Ark Noah, Lieutenant Chloe. That means you have saved Prometheus. And as a result, this world. <clears throat> Alba, how is Noah's recovery coming along? I'm currently sending the temporarily formed Noah into Anima. Anima will record and restore Noah. It'll briefly be interpreted as Noah's server. Now, I was worried about whether they could get along, but... They're doing a concert. But it looks like they're fine. I wonder what Anima is dreaming about. <laughs> Thank you, Anima. Uh, Anima saved Noah. Uh, thank. Before. Well, it is the song that when she fought the Meteora, right? On the surface. I'm. Wait. What's going on? What the hell? <gasps> What's wrong, Himato? Ah, my head. It hurts around where my Makani connector is. Something's wrong. The quantum drive's measuring device is showing abnormal values. Wait, what the fuck? I thought this is the ending. <laughs> the arithmetic space is unstable, and waveform fluctuations are all over the place. Anima, are you in pain? Uh-oh. Why is this happening? This sound. This was all planned. There's only one person who could have done it. Dieter! <laughs> General Dieter. Wasn't Noah supposed to start recovering when we inserted her into Anima? Do not fear. Anima is only regaining its proper form as a Meteora. Its proper form? When the Meteoras first appeared on Earth, they had a far more divine form. I yearned for them when I was young. Back when I lived on the streets, I kept on waiting for the arrival of these godly incarnations. Like one longs for the stars. They're like stars during the day. You can't see them, but they exist. I had the chance to go up to the surface once. When I was young, when I held my hand up at the sky, the light spilled between my fingers. <sighs> and a little crazy. It changed color with every moment of passing time. I felt it a gift from them. Then one day, I started to long for it. For the day our ugly world would be enveloped in that divine light. The moment our new gods manifest. For the descent of our new gods, I would gladly offer a sacrifice in this fool's world. A sacrifice? A young girl with a miraculous voice and the radiance of tragedy. A perfect sacrifice. You... you can't possibly mean Coco. Her singing influences how the meteoras move. Humans all have their own unique frequency. She's the fruit of centuries of wisdom. The conclusion born from the professor's obsession. Her miraculous voice is one in a billion. She's the only girl who can synchronize with the black object. It can't be. Wait. The person who sent Coco out to the meteora was... I did send her to the surface, but she wished for it. She couldn't have. No one could be more suitable a priestess, more suitable a harbinger. She saved me a lot of trouble. <gasps> but Coco wasn't enough. Her consumption led to the Meteora becoming more like a mere human. I still needed one final push to revive the primordial Meteora. I wondered what I had. What could I offer? It struck me. My gift needed high intelligence and affinity with Coco residing in Anima. I needed a high-performing arc in Coco's form. In other words, Noah is the last piece. It seems I was correct in my deduction. No, Anima. You can't change. Let it go. You can't stop change. Shut up. 
You hurt my comrades again. Just how many times will you betray me? I have always been a servant to the truth and a worshipper of the Meteoris. This is the holy Meteora we will soon bear witness to and the primordial power within. Oh, so the Meteora that was in the dream, it's anima actually. Okay, now I got it. There are no enemies or friends, past or future, life or death. There's nothing. But then Noah knew and saw this prophecy, so <laughs> that's why she didn't want to come back. Everything is merged. There's no need for attachments. Everything will become one for all eternity. That's not true. Mother and I only wanted to spend what was left of our lives together. Our present. Precious because it has an end. Just... just that time. Together. <sighs> Look, I got no idea what's going on. I don't understand a damn thing. Well, at least we're agreeing on that here. But... I know that my friend is hurting. How dare you hurt my friend! Oh. Stop it, Yamato! Oh. <laughs> well, that was fast. Yamato! I can't let this moment be defiled. So I will spare your life. How <laughs> you shot him? You are the son of an old friend, after all. You want to meet your dead father, don't you? <sighs> now for the finishing touches. Don't move. Oh, you're beyond help. Before you do anything crazier, I'll. Trigger has been locked by higher authorization. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> that sucks. That gun is meaningless to me, Alba. <laughs> This is nothing but youthful rebellion. Something unbecoming of a military man. Be obedient and... Aww. Is this simple guy trying to act like he actually has any clue what he's doing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Trigger has been locked by higher authorization. Julie. Oh. Julie! Professor! <laughs> Anima! Mm -hmm. Oh my! Well, well, things have become interesting! Just how did you get Anima to change so much? Oh, I see. You use Pythos to fish up the moron of an arc. Then, you used Anima as the recording medium and interpreter. Finally, you inserted that brain dead idiot of an arc inside and tried to restore her. I guess you went along with their plan and tried to trick them. Am I right, Dieter? As expected, Professor. I knew you would pick up on it. <laughs> Julie! Do something to help Anima! Shut up over there! Can't you see I'm busy with this quantum tuned meteora? We don't have time for that! If Anima transforms, you'll die too. Hmm. Well, you're right about that. <laughs> if it regains the power the Meteora originally had, we'll all be crushed. That'll be a bit of a bother. Dieter, how are you planning to run away from Anima when it became giant? Oh, there's no need to run. The primordial Meteora will unite everything. Some circuits lose. Looks like you're training in my lab for fruit. At the end of thorough scientific thinking lies a monotheistic view of the world. God is dead. So said a famous philosopher from the old ages. However, most people misunderstand the essence of that phrase. Until the mid-2000s, many Western scientists secretly held a purely objective faith in a god. Girdle's incompleteness theorems. This theorem denied the existence of gods. That also meant the denial of Kant, a great philosopher of the previous century. Philosophy and science denied God's existence. But people still sought a transcendental being. In other words, people wanted science to create an absolute transcendental, a new deus. Religion becomes science, science becomes religion, and it's my role to unify them. It seems you've leaned too far towards religion, Dieter. I haven't, Professor. 
I like science as it is. I loved the experiments with analog devices you occasionally showed me when I was young. Especially how to shoot an old world gun. Now that was very interesting. Father? When the pin hits the detonator, the gunpowder inside starts to burn. The heat generated increases the pressure inside the barrel. Professor, sweet dreams. Oh! What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when choosing a gun, go with gunpowder. Julie! What did you do? Just how inhuman are you? <laughs> huh. I told you, Professor. All was as expected. Your final lecture was quite impressive. This arm is magnificent. What the? A pity to lose it. Ow. Stop it already! Rationality taken to its logical conclusion. An obsession with the body, the host of reason. This is the miraculous arm born from that disharmony. This will make everything possible. Devour it, Anima. <laughs> oh, shit. Where the fuck are you going? Anima! Wait! Anima! Where are you going? Uh -uh. How noble. It's trying to keep you safe, but that won't change anything. It begins. This is humanity's next stage. Uh, While well, we're here. What is that? That's... That roar. The one I heard back then. That was Anima? They aren't being absorbed. <sighs> They're returning to where they should return. For now, let's call it the merged. Everything is being merged within. All time, all substance, all information. All life will merge together. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, I want to keep looking at it. Can you hear that? Love, songs, and melodies. I can hear all types of sounds. They're all... Huh? Uh, well, okay. I mean, that's not like I didn't expect it. You... Went a little too far with your prank, Peter. In the end, you're nothing but a caged bird. You can't escape me. Oh. <laughs> well, at least he's dead. <laughs> Let you do as you wish. My goal has essentially been accomplished. Father! Wait, this fucking mascot. I really think this is the same exact mascot from the previous game from the scientist girl. Like something is going on with Julie and I think Julie was actually the name of the mascot if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Damn it! Someone help! Is no one here? Emergency communications aren't working. Hurry! He's going to... It's useless, Puppets. He can't be saved. You deign to destroy my body as if this were a mass-produced model! No thanks to you. I had to launch my main core system. Oh. Ending you with this hand of perfection was the least bit of mercy I had for you. Good night, Dieter. Sweet dreams. Julie. No! Why? I won't forgive you for dying like this! Not when you threw mother at me! Oh my god, not now! <gasps> Why are you still staring at it? You're about to die! Hey! Why? When I'm right here! Oh. Uh. Go on. Father! Why? Why say my name with your last breath? 
You didn't even care about me. You never even gave me a glance. Okay, let's go to the next chapter. <laughs> How can this? you be so calm? You killed someone. So what? <laughs> this fucking meteor will kill kill everyone. Went in. My plan to transcribe consciousness to a different organism has now succeeded. Dieter did well, just like I expected. Now Project Aldeus, based on my dual Ariadne theory, is perfected! Dual Ariadne theory? Mm-hmm. That's the scientific name. Call it that for short. It's a theory that I, genius Professor Julie, spent 200 years forming. A mathematical surgical theory for overriding the meteoric information crystal structure. Sounds pretty simple, huh? No, it doesn't. Ah, uh, it's exhausting trying to talk with imbeciles. <laughs> then I'll explain in a simpler way. Project Altheus, a bid to recreate the world after obtaining a meteor body. It's a project full of dreams. Hey, Chloe. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have strange dreams? Dreams where you became a butterfly, a bird, or a flower? Mm -hmm. Did you dream of being something other than human? You'd fly in the sky, run along the land, or live freely above ground? How do you know about that? But you know what, Chloe? Those weren't dreams. They were simply records of experiments. Crap. This isn't good. We're gonna die if we stay here. You can. I needed a consciousness stable enough to handle any entity I placed inside of it without fail. I've been searching for a way to create that this whole time. The human consciousness could never truly merge with another being's. I have failed again and again over dozens and hundreds of years. After so long, a veritable eternity. I came to my conclusion. My research's answer. It's the consciousness of the two of you. Your strong consciousnesses are branded on these black objects. No matter what being I put it into, your minds will not collapse. You will remain human. A consciousness that persists even as the body does. It's just like reincarnation. You live as humans right now. Your true self, your consciousness, is in the black object in your body. Neither of your consciousnesses will perish. Your mere existence disturbs the world's providence. It's fine-tuning. That's why Coco was consumed. Coco was consumed, and her consciousness was corrupted by the Meteora instead. The Meteora took on Coco's characteristics. That's how Anima was created. Noah served as the finishing touches. Much like Anima, she was formed from Coco. That makes it easy to put her into the Coco Meteora. The moment she was, the Meteora Code was overwritten. That is what you see now. And that being, that Ark, is going to bring me back to that day. That day? The day when this arm can even tame a god has come. Why? Why go so far? What makes you seek the meteoras like this? Why? Isn't it obvious? The meteoras have no concept of time. Think about getting your hand on a meteora. That means you can move through time as you'd like. I'd be able to go back into the past. No. I can even erase the time where she died! Wait! Julie! Who died? Not Coco. I don't think she's saying about Coco. No. Uh, well, what's now? Already become... Chloe! What? What do you plan to do with that? We might die. We might not stand a chance. We might regret making this choice. We might end up crawling pitifully on the ground, but I don't want to run away. I'm protecting this city and my friends. I'll be a Machia pilot until my final moments. That's 
what I promised Father when he was alive. And my promise with him is alive and well. It doesn't matter if we don't stand a chance. I'm not breaking that promise. That definitely sounds like you. Then I'll support you as an operator until the end. Are you sure, Alba? I can do this alone. It's my job to take that thing down, too. A father's mistakes become the responsibility of his son. That's what I want to believe. We're father and son. So I'm fighting, too. It doesn't matter if the odds are against us. I'll be going, father. What about you, Chloe? Do we have a choice? We're bringing Noah and Anima back, of course. Fighting for Coco means the same thing, so... You're singing with us next time, Chloe. I think. I want to bring them back. Fighting for Coco means I'm turning against everybody? I'm not sure. Both Noah and Anima. We can still make it. We can still save them. I don't want to give up. I definitely won't! I'll take them 